Hey guys, so today I am bringing you my second holiday look. This one is a pretty smoky eye um, using some warm and cool tones to create an interesting contrast that really I think flatters the eyes and especially if you have a lighter eye color but I think also dark eye colors would really look good with this, this look. Today I'm using all colors from the Urban Decay Naked One palette and um, as I've mentioned before I don't actually have the palette, just a few different colors in various forms. So if you have the palette obviously I would be holding it up right now but I don't so yeah using Naked palette colors and this is my chestnuts roasting on an open fire look inspired look so I'm using some bronzy tones and browns to create a really warm overall appearance but I also took some grays which I thought was kind of like the ashes in a fire or something so if you want to see how to get this um, smoky look that's good for holiday events, I'm wearing it for Thanksgiving, um, then please stay tuned. Okay, so the first step is to put down a nice base that's really going to bring out your colors. I recommend a darker one because it will give a very nice um, warmth and tone to the look as well as give help the metallic tones in these shades pop. So I'm using one that's actually discontinued. It's Rich Mahogany by Maybelline if you have it, but any brown base will do. And I'm taking that all over the top as well as on the bottom because we are getting quite a decent amount of shadow down there as well. And you just want to follow the basic shape of your eye. Nothing crazy. I'm going to start in with our main lid color, which is Urban Decay's Toasted. It's a, if you don't have Urban Decay eyeshadows, it's kind of a bronze, but with more of a pink tone than like a gold or golden bronze. And I'm just taking that with a flat shader brush and packing that all over my lid, like the inner two-thirds of the lid, and really packing it on because I really wanted an intense color payoff. This is a really pigmented color, too. Uh, using the same... Uh, flat shader brush. I'm taking Gunmetal, which is, you wouldn't think to pair these eyeshadows together, which is why I'm doing this look, because I thought it was an interesting pairing. This is just a gunmetal color with a lot of it, a nice blue undertone, as you can probably tell. Um, I don't use it enough, so I thought I'd try pairing it with a color I do use a lot, which is Toasted. So I'm packing on the outer third of the lid. This one's not nearly as pigmented, so I do have to layer it a bit more. And then I'm also taking the, um, end of the shader brush to create an, a winged out shape and then pulling it in to the crease a little because I really wanted uh, that to flare out a little bit. Once you get your desired color payoff with that, you're going to go in with your blending color. I'm using Buck, um, which is the darker one from the palette. I recommend it because it's a little more warm tone and especially because we are doing a darker look. I think it suits it a little more. So I'm just taking that on a fluffy brush and blending it, starting where gunmetal wings out and blending it in and it's really going to blend out those colors and create a soft focused look. And to make it even softer, I'm then going to really blend it out with a clean blending brush. Um, as you can see, I went with a very um, blended out look because I don't want it to have any harsh lines. After that, I went in with a pencil brush and added more gunmetal because I just thought it needed a little more color payoff. Um, so just tapped a little more of that right in the outer corner and bl just blended it one more time. Okay, now it's time to start it on your lower lash line. I like, for smokier looks, sometimes I like to apply my eyeliner first. That way I can smoke it out with my eyeshadow down there. So for today's look, I'm using a really dark, like, black and brown. This is CoverGirl's, um, Brown Blaze. It's a liquid line blast, so it's super creamy and easy to apply. Unfortunately, not waterproof, but because we are putting a lot of shadow down there, I find that that's okay. And I'm just putting that on my waterline and then closing my eyes to get it on my tight line as well. And then pretty much on the bottom, you want to follow the same pattern you did on the top. So you're going to go ahead and take that toasted color. Or no, first I started with gunmetal this time because I wanted to start in the outer bit and blend it in. Um, so I'm taking gunmetal and just applying that the outer bit, connecting to the top. And then I took gunmetal and applied to the rest of the lower lash line and then blend it into the gunmetal using the same, I'm just using a pencil brush for this. And it's going to look really crazy and like it's going way too low, but um, when you apply mascara it won't. Last step for the bottom is to blend it with a um, the same blending brush. You really want to buff it out on the bottom as well because again, you don't want a harsh line there, especially on the bottom because if it's soft down there I find it's much more flattering. So really buffed that out once again. I decided to go a little darker on the top. You could just use the same brown if you're trying to conserve products or whatever. 
but this is a black liner. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Liner in Carbon Black, and I'm just taking that, and it's automatic, so that's kind of nice for the top because it's a little thinner. And I'm just taking that right on the lash line to um, really make sure there's um, some definitions. I wanted to use a pencil rather than a liquid to keep it really smoky and soft, but if you're somebody who likes a liquid line, you can obviously use that with this look. Anyway, I applied that and then used the uh, smudger on the back just to buff it out a little bit. And then to buff it out even more, I once again picked up gunmetal and a pen the pencil brush and um, buffed it into the rest of my eyeshadow, especially in the outer bit where we already had gunmetal. Last step is going to be highlighting. The color I'm using actually is not from the Naked palette, but any highlighter you like will do. This one's actually Walk of Shame, which is available in the Naked Basics palette. So if you're somebody who's a big collector of the Naked palettes, you probably already have it. And I'm just taking that on my brow bone and inner corner. I wanted a matte highlight because the rest of the lid is so like metallic and um, dark. So I wanted to keep it subtle. Arguably the most important for a look like this is mascara. I find that if your lashes look really great with a look like this, it really pulls it together and makes it look really glamorous and nice. So I'm using my current go-to mascara, which is the Maybelline Full and Soft in Black is Black. Really taking the time to wiggle it in to get a really defined and voluminous lash. I'm doing one coat top and bottom and then adding a second coat on the top just to really make sure you, uh, you got some really good lashes going on. Then for cheeks, I didn't really know what color I wanted to use, but I kind of wanted my cheeks to be nice and warm and also not shimmery because it's such a metallic eye. So I'm taking this pretty matte orange color called Coral Burst. It's, it was a limited edition one by Maybelline, but any coral or peach or orange will do. And I am applying this with a very light hand because I didn't want crazy orange cheeks. So what I'm doing is picking up on a, like an angle blush brush and I'm starting from the back and pulling in rather than putting it right here because that's going to give you a more dramatic blush look. So kind of just following the contour of my cheek a little bit. The last step is lips. I went with a very basic lip like the cheeks, didn't want them to compete with these really dramatic eyes. So I'm using one of my go-to products at the moment, which is the Maybelline Elixir in Caramel Infused. It's a very subtle, your lips but better type color. It is pretty glossy, but that fades as you wear it. So you're going to end up with a nice matte kind of your lips but better type color. So I just apply that on the lips and that is my finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this chestnuts roasting um, makeup tutorial, the nice smoky eyes that I think anyone loves to rock a good smoky eye, especially one in these nice neutral tones that's not too dark or um, difficult to pull off for a holiday party. So if you like this video, be sure to like it below. Also, let me know any other holiday looks you would like to see. I do have a lot coming up, so be sure to subscribe if that's something you're interested in in seeing. Um, hope you guys had a gr have a great rest of your day and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you.